Hey guys, Ian here with another Lick of the Week, and today I want to show you this symmetric diminished pattern. So if you'd like to follow along, as always, the tab is available in the description section of the video for you to download. Uh, before I get into the lick itself, I just want to talk to you quickly about the theory behind it and what's going on here. So I'm envisioning playing over a C7 chord, and I'm going to play the C half whole diminished scale over it. And if you're not familiar with that scale, it's exactly what the name implies. It is a symmetric scale built up of alternating half and whole steps. So if I start on C, I go up a half step, then a whole step, then another half, then a whole, half, whole, half, whole, and so on and so forth. And because of the way that this scale is constructed, within the scale we get a series of minor third intervals. So as a result, um, any pattern or collection of notes from this scale that you come up with, you can move around in minor thirds symmetrically. So in the case of this lick, I have a four note cell. I'm just moving that down in minor thirds. Move that down. And go to the next one. And the next one. So the whole thing slowly. And the nice thing about this is that when we play it over a C7 uh, chord or vamp, we get the tensions flat 9, sharp 9, uh, sharp 11, and 13. So you get this kind of tonality, which gives you this kind of spacey out sound. So it's really nice to sprinkle in, let's say like you're playing over a blues, and you're playing a bunch of pentatonic type stuff, or maybe more diatonic stuff, and then you can throw this in, and it really catches the listener's ear. It's very effective when it's used sparingly and in uh, uh, crucial moments of your solo. So I hope it's useful for you guys and that you enjoyed this lesson. And if you did, I'd really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. And if you feel so inclined, you can also leave uh, a tip on my website at the uh, tip jar link, which is in the description section of the video. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you next week for the next lick.